like subscribe and leave a comment so here's your review of ww raw the week commencing the 8th of january so it starts with drew mcintyre coming out basically he talks about he's not his head's not right and he may leave the wwe and take some time away after his loss to Seth Rollins the other week for the world championship but then he then he turns around and blames it on Damien Priest he blames it on the WWE shuffling things he also blames it on CM Punk coming back and he said to himself maybe I'll take some time away from nine years like CM Punk and then maybe I'll be appreciated as he says that CM Punk comes out he basically says to Drew um he's known for Drew's not known for talking not known for talking his mind, but obviously that's what he does now because Drew's stepped up now in his game. Um, and basically, if Drew's got anything to say, he can say it to his face because you heard him mention his name. Drew basically says to CM Punk, um, he didn't think CM Punk would last over a month. He thought he would self-destruct, but it's surprising that he's still there. But he also says there's one point when CM Punk was a champion previously and Drew was in a dark place and he needed a leader. He needed someone to guide him out of that dark place. And he said that CM Punk just didn't care. He didn't help him. And that's what he has against CM Punk for not helping him there. Um, basically, CM Punk turns that around and him and goes, that's fine. You're calling me out, but you basically followed my same path. You left the WWE and then you came back. Same thing CM Punk does. CM Punk did also. And then basically says, CM Punk says he's a nice guy until he's pushed. Then he's not a nice guy. And then um, CM Punk basically says he's winning the Rumble, not Drew Cody Rose or Seth is going to stop him. So let's see what happens. Then we go into our first match, Finn Balor versus Tomasa Champa in a great match. Um, but in the end, Tomasa got the win. So congratulations to him. Then we have Becky Lynch basically saying she, she may have lost to Nia Jax, but she ain't done with Nia Jax. And this is basically the beginning. So we will see. Then we have Kofi Kingston versus Kaiser in a match that didn't finish because they got into a brawl. And that was that really. Is I don't know what Kofi's wearing. Is he wearing like some boxer shorts or something? I don't know what he's wearing these days to the ring, but it's not New Day attire. So I'm not sure what that, that's about, but okay. Um, then we have Nia Jax basically going to the ring. She's basically saying she's going to eliminate everybody. She's the most dominant female in the women's division on Raw. Whilst she said that, Mummy or Rhea Ripley comes out. Basically calls her out and says to Nia Jax, keep her name out of her mouth. And Ma Nia Jax goes, listen, I'm going to win the Rumble and I'm coming after you, the supposed... Uh, unbeatable champion so we will see then we have Chelsea Piper versus Carter Katana for the women's tag team championships in a great match go and watch you haven't seen it but in the end Carter and Katana have the victory then we have R-Truth in a cutscene basically saying he's part of the judgment day and they show love and they're here to help people and you can always talk to the judgment day I don't think that's what they do, but we'll see. Then the Judgment Day in the back, they're not happy what Half Truth is doing. And they said they need to come up with a plan, especially one for Drew and DIY. So we will see what they do. Then we have the Miz versus JD in a great match, but uh, Half Truth and Dom was at ringside. Slight, slightly caused a distraction, but the Miz got the victory in the end. Then we have Seth Rollins comes out said he's never gone into wrestlemania as the actual champion um so this is the first time he's looking forward to it but it's like who is he going to face as he says that jinder mohal comes out he basically calls out seth Rollins for overlooking him not giving him a shot not even looking his way but he's not been there but then um seth was like well we've purposely been uh, avoiding you because no one wants to see you and then um first seth goes if you if you feeling froggy punch me in my face Jinder does nothing, Seth turns his back, then he gets attacked. So we'll see what happens there. Then we have Ivor versus Otis in a great match. Obviously two big big men, uh, very physical. But in the end, Ivor gets the match, gets the victory, I should say. Then we have Bronson Reed um, in the back, interrupts Jay Uso in an interview where Bronson Reed says to Jay Uso, her. I know you come here for a title, but you ain't getting no title. I'm getting a title before you. So we will see. Then in the main event of the evening, it's Cody Rhodes versus Shinsuke Nakamura in a street fight. Also, they were brawling earlier in the show. Um, really good match. Everything's there. Chairs, tables as well. Good match. I think uh, Shinsuke got a bit busted up as well. Bit of blood. But in the end, Cody Rhodes gets the victory. So that's your review of WWE Raw. Leave a comment.